Okay, so anyway, as I was fucking saying, I'm hard as shit, and it's becoming a fucking problem. But as you see me, you're not gonna look at my face, you're gonna look at my fucking dick. And now, I'm getting stared. I'm getting stared of a boner, okay? This is a fucking frightening ass boner. I'll go to the ho goddamn hobo camp, I guess. Anyway, hard as shit. The then I realize there might be a fucking problem because I can feel my own goddamn heartbeat in my dick. And that has never happened to me before. So I start freaking out. I'm getting little, 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 little freak out moments, okay? Okay, scratch that. I'm not freaking out. I'm fucking freaking out. I don't know, I'm starting to feel weird. I'm queasy. There's a goddamn huge boner. And then I'm about to, uh, I don't know, call somebody, call 911 or something. Then who the fuck comes over and knows this is my problem? Mrs. fucking Markowitz. This fat ass bitch. Who looks like she just got eaten three goddamn fried hams, as I mentioned earlier. Well, huh. Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Look at that. I think, yeah, yeah, I know, I don't know what's happening here. I think, I think there's a problem. I think I need to go to the hospital. Okay, come now, let me get my keys. So she goes and gets her keys. And then she's like, I, I won't tell anybody. I won't, I won't tell anybody. So she doesn't tell anybody, and we, she tells, but she did fucking say something to Mr. Markowitz, because how the fuck did we leave, since it's her goddamn daughter's birthday party, anyway. So we get in the car, and she goes, okay, I, I, I know a good hospital I'll take you to. What the fuck just happened? Anyway. So, oh, I know a good hospital I can take you to. So we get in the car, and we fucking, we fucking take off. Hey, okay? we're going to whatever hospital she knows where we're going to. And we get in the car, and it's fucking awkward as shit. Because I can see out of the corner of my eye, she's staring at my dick. I know that's the only thing that she's staring- no That motherfucker hit a phone pole! What a dick! Huh, ironic, considering I'm talking about my dick. Anyway, we get off, she's staring at my dick, I, I keep telling her, watch the road, don't look at the dick. But that's what she does anyway. And I shit you not. I'm telling you right now, guys, I am not shitting you not. By the way, you just joining this video, if you want to know what the fuck I'm talking about, watch the previous video. Anyway. I shit you not. She stopped at fucking Taco Bell. No, not, we're not going to the hospital first. She stopped at fucking Taco Bell. And she gets two Mexican pizzas. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I, I could go for a little something. I didn't get to eat at the party. That fat bitch doesn't offer me a goddamn slice of a fucking Mexican pizza. She opens it, and I don't know how the fuck she did this, but she placed it oh so cleverly above her tit and fucking ate both of them right in front of me. This bitch ate those two Mexican pizzas in like five goddamn minutes. One, three, six. Mexican pizza in the hospital. Okay, I don't have a fucking problem with that, okay? I just want to get the dick checked out, because now I'm starting to get fucking worried. Because the heartbeat's going boom ba da ba boom ba da ba ba boom ba da ba boom ba da ba da ba So, now we're in a part of town that I've never seen before, a.k.a. the fucking projects. The further we go to this hospital she keeps mentioning, the further we go into goddamn territory I've never been in before. Those birds that I after mentioned earlier weren't there anymore. The birds have been replaced by fucking crows. What the hell am I looking for? Oh shit, what the fuck am I looking for? Who's the victim? Okay, fine, I guess I'll just point to every single goddamn thing on here before I know what the fuck the victim is. Am I looking for a woman? They're all goddamn women! Son of a bitch. Let me look at my little diary. People. Murder victim. I don't know what the fuck she was wearing! Son of a bitch! We had this figure man. Oh my god, what the fuck was she wearing? Oh god damn it. Mr. J. Smith. Wow, fucking completely guessed that one. Okay, anyway. We're in the goddamn projects. I don't know where the fuck we are. 
The birds have been replaced by crows. Even the crows are saying, right, get the fuck out of here. Okay, this is a bad goddamn part of town. You do not want to be in this part of town. You know that part of town, like, your mother will say, no, Timmy, we can't go that way, because it's fucking dangerous as hell. Yet she's perfectly fine with it. She had mentioned pizza sauce all over her face and shit. I guess she couldn't see that we're in the goddamn projects. It looked like we were in the neighborhood of goddamn Sunnyville. Now we're in Sunny... Sunny is dead, Bill. Horrible fucking joke. Horrible fucking joke. Anyway. We're in the projects. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, okay, okay, just as long as there's an actual goddamn hospital and you didn't take me out here to fucking eat me, whatever the hell you do. So I, I turn on the radio and Kickstart My Heart comes on. And I, I fucking love that song. Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. Why the fuck wouldn't you ever want to listen to that song? So I turn it on. I'm getting into it. Uh, this isn't taking my mind off the fucking raging heart on. But this bitch comes over and she fucking turns it off. And I turn it back on, and she goes, no, we don't need to listen to that. And she turns it off. Yes. And I'm thinking, you fucking bitch. I can't even listen to the goddamn radio. First of all, you cheated me out of two Mexican pizzas. Now you're cheating me out of listening to fucking Motley Crue. You're a fucking whore. I didn't tell you you're a goddamn Markowitz. Because I hate Markowitzes. Or Markowitz. Marka Y. She had her green silk dress. What the fuck is going on? I haven't listened to this entire goddamn case. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Oh, shit. Please don't tell me he has kids. Please don't fucking tell me I have to go through that again. Mr. Tarleton, I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. Your wife has bruised. Your wife was murdered last Oh, fuck. was found this morning. Very sorry for your loss. Okay, there's something fucking going on, because I know kids that age aren't going to sit beside each other that calm and shit on a couch without... There's something fucking going on here. You don't think the procedure... You see to your girls. Yeah, you see to those fucking girls, if they are girls. Yeah, what are you doing to destroy evidence, you little bitches? I'm on to you motherfuckers. Anyway. So... I, 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 I don't know. I'm suspicious about this bitch I'm with. Where's mommy? Everything's She's dead, you little bitch. I would like mommy to come home now, dad. Well, I'd like you to shut the fuck up. You don't always get what you want. You work in this world. Don't just say you want your mommy to come home. You want to go see your mommy, don't fucking hang yourself. She's dead. Want to hear something funny, Carol? Assholes. Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually proves not Okay, so anyway. I, I'm suspicious about this bitch I'm with, but Check if she was a regular. I see the hospital, and I'm thinking, okay, if she wasn't fucking lying, she actually is taking me to a hospital, this is, this is good news. I'm ecstatic. Now, she's not going to take me out in the middle of fucking nowhere, and I don't know, hit me with a goddamn frozen popsicle, because I know she's not going to have a goddamn lead pipe. This fat bitch is going to be carrying a frozen motherfucking popsicle, or a goddamn chocolate gun. So, I see the hospital. We get out, and I'm thinking, what the fuck are they going to do about this? Why the hell do I have a raging motherfucking heart on? I, I'm nervous. I'm nervous as shit. I'm thinking they're going to cut off my dick. And if they cut off my dick, I'm going to end up act being like that one dude who got his dick cut off. What was his name? Uh, Sir, Harry Sir. Hamlin? I think that was his name. I don't fucking know. Goddamn, I hate looking for clues. Another goddamn matchbook. The same goddamn bar. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Shut the fuck up, Cole. Why did he turn down the picture? I wonder why the picture was turned down. Exactly what I just fucking said. Could you stop taking credit for all the shit I say? Okay, I checked the girl's room. I checked his bedroom. This is a small goddamn house. Appearances are really fucking deceiving. Excuse me, ladies. Yeah, don't even say excuse me back. What the fuck are you eating? Hey, Cole. Let your vibrator go off. Tell me where the fuck to go. I want to finish telling the fucking story. I, I gotta examine all this shit. So she went out without her handbag? Oh my god, she went out without her handbag. The forgetful whore. At least she was spared that particular indignity. If he actually said the forgetful whore... I would have laughed so fucking much, and I would have liked him. Be in quite a state to leave this behind. 
Okay, so obviously she packed a fucking... No, she didn't pack anything, did she? What the fu- Oh, shit! Oh, motherfucking cocksucker asshole! The fucking husband did it! I fucking knew it! How will the story conclude? Can I fucking finish the story? Oh, okay, fine, never mind, let your vibrator- That motherfucker fucking did it! Are you really gonna make it that fucking easy? Anyway, the story concludes in the next part. Alright, peace, Shooter Putin, we fucking miss you.